In a lesson to anyone denying the realities of COVID, an anti-masker and vaccine skeptic died of COVID this week. So let me show you uh, who this person is and some of the stuff they shared online. So Denver Sheriff here tweeting out, it is with great sadness that we share 33-year-old Denver Sheriff Deputy Daniel Duke Trujillo, uh, Trujillo uh, passed away last evening from COVID-19 complications. We ask that you keep his family in your thoughts and prayers and respect their privacy during this difficult time. So 33 is incredibly young. And it's it's important to point out here, this is, I'm not sure which variant, if he had a variant of COVID-19, but the, the newer variants are a lot more a lot more destructive to younger individuals. So it's possibly had one of those, which is why it's so important to get vaccinated if you can, if it's available in your area. And also just important, of course, um, wearing a mask, socially distance, all that stuff. Uh, but let's get to some of this guy's posts online uh, before it got to this point. So Ken Klippenstein here, who's an investigative reporter for The Intercept, did some digging and discovered some of these posts and i want to be clear here i'm not sharing this to you know dance on this guy's grave or anything i'm sharing this so you understand the realities of COVID 19 and that and why you should be taking it seriously so this guy's online account apparently was gunslinger 1775 his last last post on instagram was or said before you shame me in public for not having a mask ask yourself one simple question will this mask stop an uppercut Okay. Also, uh, a couple of his profile pictures here. I don't care if you've had your vaccine. So that's one. Uh, one on May 7th, I have an immune system. All right. Let me um, now share a video. To be clear, this is not going to be him. But on April 26th, this officer did share this video on his Facebook page with the caption saying, I'll get it later on after y'all start growing appendages out of y'all's foreheads. This is the video he shared with that caption. You fuck sticks are really out on social media going, of course I went and got my vaccine. I did my research. I know what's in it, you peasants. Oh, buddy, you are the research. Being a Marine has taught me one thing. Never be the first to volunteer. Y'all rushing out there, stand in line and get the vaccine like folks rush out to get the new iPhone. And if history has told us, any new product that ever comes on the market is always full of problems. And you know how they fix those problems? They wait to see what problems come up. So when they give you that vaccine, they start watching you smug fuck sticks for user experience. Meaning if you start doing the funky fucking chicken on the side of the road, or start looking like an extra from The Walking Dead, then they know they got a problem. I'm not saying I'm not going to get the vaccine. I'm just saying I'm going to let you lab rats work out the kinks first because in five years, I'm going to see an infomercial like this. If you or a loved one has ever taken the COVID-19 vaccine from Johnson & Johnson, you might be entitled for compensation. But hey, thanks for taking one for the team. All right. That would be funny if it wasn't so completely insane. And uh, that's the kind of stuff this guy believed. So more details on uh, his death and what's been going on at the place he worked. So Trujillo and Herrera, Herrera, by the way, another officer that died just a week earlier uh, at the same workplace, worked at the downtown detention center, which has had an active COVID-19 outbreak since April 2020. Denver Sheriff Department website reported 11 active cases at the detention center as of Thursday. Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment sh data shows 1,261 COVID-19 cases at the detention center with 107 of them among staff members since April 2020. The health agency has not connected any deaths to the detention center outbreak. Sheriff deputies like other first responders in Colorado became eligible for COVID-19 vaccinations in January and were among those allowed to have vaccines as the first wave of doses were available in the state. Daria Serna, a sheriff's department spokeswoman, said... However, the shots were not mandatory, and the department does not track how many de deputies have been vaccinated because of privacy concerns, Sarna said. So there you go. This guy had the opportunity, one of the first people in the country to be able to get vaccinated. Decided not to. It's anti-vax, anti-mask, and ended up dying from COVID-19. Last thing here, I uh, just thought I would share this. Duke Trio was uh, suspended twice. In 2017, after not responding quickly to an inmate's suicide attempt and then beating another inmate with a weapon later that year. That weapon, by the way, 
was nunchucks. Just thought I'd share that with you, but ultimately here, the lesson, take COVID seriously and get the vaccination when you can.